So today's Dharma talk is about the Bhagavad Gita, which is an ancient Indian uh, text, which is a story or an epic tale between a warrior, a prince, and Lord Krishna. And it unfolds on a battlefield um, of the prince not wanting to fight and not knowing why he has to go into battle. Lord Krishna comes to the, the prince um, and he tries to explain to him some key things that we ourselves may face within the universe. And these are questions like, who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose on life? The Gita has four main concepts. The first concept is about Dharma. And Dharma, we know, is a universal law. And the universal law states that we all have our own purpose within the world and that we should carry out our, our work and our duty because of Dharma's sake. So our dharma um, can be anything, I think it's our calling in life, and for the, the warrior, for the prince, his dharma is to fight for his family. But he's not fighting for fighting's sake, he's actually fighting for a greater purpose. And it's understanding that what we do within our lives, um, that does carry greater purpose, and this is our dharma. The second concept is about carrying out our dharma to the fullest extent. And this is often seen in Hinduism and Buddhism, that we should have absolute commitment to our dharma. So we should ensure that we are carrying out our work, our life's work, to the fullest extent and committing fully to it. And by doing this, it means that we're carrying out our dharma as we should. Um, success doesn't come from us doing things half-heartedly. Success comes from us giving full commitment and from us actually pouring our heart and soul in, into something. The third concept is about the fruits of our labour. So we often put a lot of work and a lot of effort in. We carry out our dharma to the fullest extent, as concept one and concept two states. But we shouldn't do this with a view of getting anything in return. So we don't do this to reap the benefits of what we've sown. We do this for doing its sake. Um, and often in life, it can apply to us, we can often find that we've carried out a task or an activity or we've maybe helped others, and we can be quite disappointed if things don't come back to us and we don't actually get the fruits of our labour. But this third concept is saying that we shouldn't carry out tasks to receive the fruits of our labour. The fourth concept kind of uh, brings together all of these uh, the previous three concepts, and especially the third concept, by saying that we should actually carry out the Dharma to the fullest extent, not for the fruits of our labour, but actually offering it up to the divine. And we know that the divine is within all of us. We know that the divine runs through the air that we breathe, it runs through our bodies, it runs through every living being within the universe. So by offering our services of the world to the rest of the world, it means that we are less disappointed when things don't come back specifically for us. We don't have the expectations. And it also means that we can understand what our purpose in life is and we can understand good from evil.